This movie was pretty good. It's just a great movie. Great actors, and I really like the plot. I hope Mikey saw it. If he's watched it, then that's just fine, because we had to go to the mine today and dig up a lot of ore there. I'll go to him and check on him. He told me yesterday to make him go to the mine with him. After all, as usual, he can forget about it or just ignore this thought. If he's asleep, I'll kick him off. I will do it with joy. Mikey, where are you? Hmm? Why are you still sitting in front of the TV? We have to go to the mine. You told me yesterday that you wanted to dig up a bunch of diamonds. Didn't you say that? <laughs> I already regret what I said yesterday. I'm not sure if I'm in the mood to do this today. You know me that I can change my mind about an idea very quickly. But it's good that you told me that. If there's coal there, then I'll just leave you here alone. Good. But then you won't earn anything. I took the pickaxe for you. Since you don't have a pickaxe at all, here, take it and let's go see what's in the mine. There's just a bunch of diamonds here. I told you it was a good idea. Now we're just millionaires. I can't believe it. Mm -hmm. Are you kidding me? I went to that mine all day. I didn't think you could just come and just pick up a bunch of diamonds. This is a real mockery. But I can't forgive myself for not earning diamonds. I'll have to make sure that you give me your diamonds. I think that's a pretty good reason to give me the diamonds. What a genius I am. Mikey, what do you want to buy now? Maybe I should kick you. Because there were diamonds here. Huh? Whoa. Ah! Quickly raise your hands and don't try to do anything. I won't let you move. Now give me your diamonds quickly. Otherwise you will regret very much that you did not do it. Great. There are so many diamonds. Take this. Just don't be nervous. We don't want to joke with you. Just get out of here. It's a pleasure to do business with you. I am so glad that you are great miners. <laughs> I wish you good luck in order to earn money. Oh. What are we going to do now? JJ, there are only coals left in this mine. Now we won't have a day. I think there's no point in staying here. Yeah, that guy seems too arrogant, just nasty. Uh -huh. Now that I just have a bunch of diamonds, I can buy anything. <laughs> I'm so glad. Huh? What are those sounds? What is that? Hmm? What kind of monster is this? Don't kill me, please don't. No! Ah! What kind of stupid people you are. I didn't think it would be so easy to kill you. I didn't even try to do it. I just accidentally stepped on you and that's it. I think now I can say that I am the king of this place. And if someone does not agree with me, then let them try to fight me. I'm sure he won't be able to do anything against me, because I'm too strong and too big for that. First, try to get to me. Then we'll see what you can do against me. A very terrible mood. I still can't forget that that guy just took our diamonds. I have nothing in my trunk now. Hmm? Is there anything to eat? No? It's just empty. It's so sad, but it's never happened before. Mikey and I were robbed. Hmm? There is one diamond. Great. At least something. It's better than nothing. I hope Mikey has some extra diamonds. Let's see how he feels there. Mikey, do you hear me? Listen to me. How are you doing with diamonds? Do you want a gift from me? I have one diamond. What do you think we can buy with this? JJ, you can't cheer me up with diamonds alone. Do you think this will work? As if not so, we can't buy anything with this. We are very poor and you know it. Huh? Hmm? Mikey JJ, I have news for you. You won't like it. Although I don't know, just follow me. I'll tell you everything along the way. Not far from the village, our guys found traces of some huge monster. This monster is too big. We can't even imagine that it could be so big. Now you will see everything in his footsteps. What? What kind of monster is this that's too big? Are you sure it wasn't a dream? Hmm? JJ, I'm really scared. This monster really exists. Look at these footprints. This is a really huge monster. Isn't that the monster that took our diamonds? I think he deserves it. 
Can we try to find this monster and take our diamonds? Hans has everything to find him. Do you see his footprints? It seems he went towards the mountains. Not as far as we think. JJ, if you are sure about this, then let's go there soon. I'm afraid there's nothing we can do against this monster. JJ, aren't you afraid? Of course I'm scared. Everyone would be scared that the village could be attacked by a huge monster that could crush us like cockroaches. Like the guy who robbed us. He really deserved it. You said it yourself. Although yes, it's a pity for this guy. I think it was too much even for him. Is it all very strange, it seems to me? Or is that monster in the mountains too close to our village? We have Whoa. to kill him. Otherwise, he will also get impudent and attack us. Mikey! I wouldn't go near him! We better get out of here as fast as possible before he crushes us too! Mikey! Look out! No! Gee! Look at this monster! It's too big a monster! I don't believe that this is all real! I thought it was just a dream! But it seems I'm not immortal like in a dream! It's just awful! Whoa! Mikey, how is that? I told you so! Hmm? A monster! We're friends, aren't we? Is not it so? Whoa! Uh... Mikey! It was just a total humiliation of us. I thought that was it, our last fight. I do not believe that this is all reality. I think I know what we need to do. Let's take our armor and weapons. We definitely need to take revenge on this monster. I can't take it anymore that we are being attacked by all sorts of idiots, and we can't fight them back. So many weapons should be enough for me to do this. Especially since Mikey will take a gun too. That's why I shouldn't worry. I hope Mikey didn't fall asleep, because he likes to stay at home and do nothing. Mikey, you're not sleeping, are you? If you're sleeping, then wake up soon before I kick you. JJ! Wasn't I ready? In order to kill a monster, I am always ready! I'm even ready to take some super weapon and sell it for this house in order to kill this monster from the mountains! Yes, we need to hurry, go as fast as possible, because that monster might just run away from there. Come on, hurry up! I can see that this monster is still there, because I can send his pics from here. He won't stand a chance against us. Believe me, he won't have a chance. Mm -hmm. JJ, I can already hear that monster. Do you hear those terrible screams? I hear you. And here he is, this stupid monster. Hey, you're a huge idiot. Do you think you can kill everyone? Try to kill us. In this armor, I feel like the boss in this place. Ha 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 ha. How can I tell you that you're a wimp? Mikey, distract him from himself. For now, I'm going to shoot him with my weapon. For some reason, it seems to me that our weapons cannot penetrate his armor. Mikey, is anything working out for you? Tell me something. Look out, Mikey. It's all right. I'm doing fine. This monster can't even hit me. How oblique you are. I didn't think you wouldn't hit me at least once. He doesn't have much left. I can already see how he's bleeding from all sides. Hey, Mikey, shoot him faster. He's almost lost. <laughs> JJ, we did it. We were able to kill this monster. I thought we were going to be finished when he started shooting at us with all his might. Mm-hmm. What a wonderful day to pick potatoes that have been growing for so long. Mikey, what are you doing there? Look, I have a piano and everything to make music. Do you want to listen? Let's show me what you've done later. Ah! What are these Godzillas doing here? Mikey, beware of them. They can eat us in one bite. They'll just swallow you up. JJ, they are destroying our village. As if it were just an ordinary anthill. What are we going to do? It seems like there's nothing we can do against these monsters anyway. It seems they are going to leave. JJ. Maybe we can try to trace where they went and then find out why they did it. I think it's a great idea. Then let's go after them. Their footprints must be very large. Therefore, tracking them will not be a big problem for us. Mm -hmm. I think so. Look, this is the trail of that Godzilla. Let's see what a big paw this monster has. He could have destroyed our house with one step. It's lucky they didn't decide to break down our house. Mikey! I hope you brought cameras with you, because they will be useful to us in order to track them. Great! Now you can put them here and wait for them to pass here again. After that, we can trace them and find their lair. Then put another camera in here and we need to hide somewhere? 
Where are we going? I don't think we should go too far, because we still have to keep an eye on them. That's right. Therefore, let's hide in the forest. They must not hear our scent among the trees. We can easily track them from there. Whoa. They're already here. What are they going to do? Where did they get the body of King Kong in their hands? Isn't that King Kong? What a horror! Did they kill him? JJ, it looks like they're going to eat him! I think that's why they decided to catch this King Kong! Look! They're grabbing them now! That's right! They ate it! And now have to go back to the lair! Let's wait until they leave! And when they start to leave, we'll immediately follow them and trace their lair! Mm -hmm. Do you understand where they went? I didn't see anything! Then lead us right behind them! Although I can hear their screams and we can follow that sound. Mm-hmm. Look, JJ. It seems they are already entering their lair. What a huge door they have. How are we going to kill them? What do we do? Let's take a closer look at the entrance to their lair and roughly understand how big their door is. I think the door is even too big, but it won't be easy to get there. We need some kind of weapon. It's time for us to go back to Derwin and look for something to kill these monsters. Look, JJ, there's a store there. Let's go there soon and find out what they sell there. I think it's clear that they sell weapons there. It remains to look at their assortment. Hi, guys. Do you want to buy a weapon? Now is the time for the promotion. For $64, I will sell you everything you see on this stand. What do you think? Do you like it? Then I'll be waiting for you here. But we don't seem to have anything. Let's go look for money for weapons. Any idea where we can find the money? Of course there is a place. Let's go to this bank. There's definitely money there. Guys, hello. We don't have any money. You can check the safes upstairs. It's empty and there is nothing. Too much has been robbed in the past. What a stupid bank. There's not even any money. How can they work there? There must be another place where we can earn money. JJ, this is the mine. Here we need to find the key to that chest over there. And the key lies somewhere in the sand. How do you like this mine? It's cool, isn't it? I also think it's better than nothing. I really don't like such mines. Oh, the key. Great. Now we can open this chest. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There was another key here. I think I know why we need him. Let's go to that mine not far away. There's a closed mine there. You took the pickaxe with you, didn't you? You're lucky I brought a pickaxe with me. Take this. But I don't have any more picks left. So go dig the mine yourself. All right. Sheesh. There are so many emeralds here. I think that's exactly enough emeralds to buy those weapons. Mm-hmm. See? It's much better than this sandbox. Hey, kid. Change me two stacks of emeralds for two stacks of dollars. Great. Thank you very much. Let's go to that seller in the store to buy weapons for the two of us. Hi, guys. Did you come back to buy weapons? Then give me your money. Now you can take everything you see on this stand. I wish you good luck in killing the monster you bought these weapons for. Thanks a lot, man. Mikey, now we are ready to kill the Godzilla Lairs. I hope you're ready to fight those monsters that are waiting for us there. JJ, what are we going to do with this door? Do you think we can destroy it with our rocket launches? Let's try to do it. It's going to work out, right? It doesn't seem to be working. Now we have no options. Do you have an ender pearl? It should be much easier. Of course there is. Here you go. Now let's teleport right into their lair and kill all the Godzillas there. All right. Now we're finally here. Are you ready for the fact that it won't be easy? Then prepare all the weapons that you have and let's go kill these monsters who destroyed our village. Hey, you. Did you think that if you destroy our village, you will get away with it? How could it not be so? We have killed to avenge our village, which you destroyed like an ordinary anthill. JJ, how stupid they are. They can't even come up to us. I thought it would be harder, but it turned out to be much easier. Let's try to give them a chance so that they can at least do something. Although I think it's not a good idea. It would be better to kill them quickly and take away all the treasures that lie here. There's only one Godzilla left. He's just as dumb as everyone else. He didn't even have a chance against us. 
Now let's take these treasures so that we can grave it later, somewhere in the market. Then what are we waiting for? Let's get these treasures already! Look how shiny they are! Also gold! I think it will cost a fortune! Hey, you dumb monsters! Why are you sleeping? Well, you woke up quickly and went to destroy the village of those who knocked you out. You don't think you can fall asleep that easily, do you? Finally, you woke up. You know what? Now you have to do what I say. Follow me and destroy the village I point my finger at. You can do it, and no one will bother you. Ha ha ha. Right now, I'll make a Mecha Godzilla out of you, and no one will break through your armor. This is how you will destroy everything in front of you. <laughs> <laughs> Mikey, there seems to be a strange moon outside the window, and I also suspect that there are some strange sounds outside. Mikey, these Godzillas have come back, but this time they're kind of weird. It seems they have become furs. We must prepare for them. Let's go to the basement for armor and weapons and kill them again, so they don't come back here anymore. Mm -hmm. I hope we can do it. They've become some kind of Mecha Godzilla. It's kind of scary! Aren't you scared like me? Because let's look at them! What if they can still breathe fire or something? What can they do against us? Look how dumb they are! Even though they have become Mecha Godzillas, but they've become even dumber than before. Therefore, it won't be a big problem for us to get them killed. Moreover, the weapons that that seller sold us are just super. This weapon just destroys these Godzillas like ordinary investigators to find at least some evidence. What a horror! What kind of news is this in the morning? Mikey, have you seen the news? The central bank has just been robbed. What are we going to do now? Our money was lying there. JJ, I don't know, but we still have money. Let's watch our favorite frog show instead. The next episode is just coming. Hey, hey I'm already waiting for them to finally. Hmm. What? Hi, JJ and Mikey. It's me, Adam, again. You've heard the news about the robbery, haven't you? Mm-hmm. Great, then you need to come with me so that you can find out something. What kind of information is this? Then let's go find out what he wants to tell us. What do you think he wants to show us? Why us? Don't you know? I don't know, but last time, we ended up killing an entire gang of criminals. I think this time, there will be something more interesting. Mm-hmm. JJ, Mikey, why are you standing there? Will you follow me? This bank was robbed this morning. I don't know how it happened. Oh, they killed a couple of workers here. We're finding out who they are. We are also looking for prints. What a horror. They also killed a couple of workers. Wow, is that them? What a horror. What did they steal? Money, most likely. Where were they lying? The safe was on the second floor. I think they just brought everyone to the ground floor and kept them there. The safes are empty. You can check it out. But they acted very carefully. I don't even know how they could do that, but the fact remains. We found a couple of prints and were able to find out who it was. I think you've already seen it. Got it. Well, it was pretty obvious. Then let's go to the officer. I think he wants to show it to us. Let's go to the police headquarters soon. JJ, Mike, come with me. I'll show you his photos at headquarters and ask you, would you like to participate in his capture? You will receive a reward for this. And very good. I think you'll like it. What do you think? First, we would like to understand how much we will get and what it looks like. Is that him? I think I saw him. A million dollar reward? But how do we do it? We don't have the experience and knowledge for this. Moreover, it is very dangerous to risk our lives. Don't worry about that. We have just the thing for you. You can become police creepers. Do you know how? All you have to do is find potions and some gunpowder to do it. Well now, what do you think? Do you want to help? You will also get a uniform and a weapon for this. Then we agree. Yes, Mikey? Yep. Great. Then I will send you the address where it is located. I'll take care of your papers for now. Good luck to you. Be careful. Good. Let's go get our uniforms as soon as possible and go on our first assignment. Mikey, now we have a policeman's uniform and a gun. Now we are on guard of the law. Now no one can resist us. Let's go to Korea and find those potions and gunpowder to become police creepers. Huh? Whoa. Who knew you'd be here? What's in the trunk? A lot of gunpowder. That's great. Now all that's left is to find potions. Mikey, let's move on. Oh, JJ, I think there's nothing in that building anymore. Let's go to the next one. 
I suspect that there is someone on the second floor because these villagers are too quiet. Guys, why do you have such scared faces? Is there anyone on the second floor? I understand you, and here they are. Hey, you cowards. How dare you scare these ignorant villagers? JJ, there are even more of them here. I think they're all over the building. Kill them and go to the third floor. I'm sure there will be a couple more robbers there. I told you they'd be here. Shoot them. I think there's no one on the roof anymore. It was clear. Then let's go to the building opposite. I saw a couple of strange people in the window who came in there. Be ready. They know we're here now. That's why we need to shoot as soon as we see them. Good. I understand you. Then let's go up the stairs and see these stupid robbers. Did you think we wouldn't find you? <laughs> JJ, I suggest we go up again. I can hear them there. These fools think we don't know they're there. Mikey, you're just a real cop. I think there should be potions in there. Mm -hmm. Just great news. Just so that we can become police creepers. Then let's go back downstairs and go to the headquarters to report everything to Adam. Let's become creepers and blow up all the robbers who robbed the bank. Good. But what scares me is that the area is somehow too quiet. Don't you think? I think we should be ready. <laughs> hmm? What? <laughs> <laughs> Great shot, James. Now go to the others and prepare for the attack. Great news. Now these two won't stop me from taking over the city. Haha. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this surprise. JJ and Mikey. Today is a great day. Today we're going to take over this stupid city for what it did to us. Where am I? JJ. Finally, you woke up. I thought you wouldn't wake up anymore. Huh? Let's wake Mikey up. I hope you brought what I asked for. Yes, we've brought everything. But what are we supposed to do now? Nothing. Now you need to fall asleep huh? again. Ugh. Congratulations to you guys. Now you have become police creepers. I hope you like it. Because now you can easily destroy the army of robbers who attacked our city. Really? Did they do it while we were sleeping? Mikey, there doesn't seem to be time for anything else. We urgently need to save our city from these idiots. Hey there, get ready for the fact that special agents JJ and Mikey are running at you. And now let's see how you can do something. Because now we will arrange bombastic meetings for you. I hope you enjoy it. And if not, then I suggest you surrender in a good way. Although I can see that you don't want it. Well, then, I wish you good luck in the battle with us, where you definitely have no chance. JJ, I didn't think being a creeper was so cool. You can just get close to them and blow them all up, just like they did to us. It was very painful. Therefore, I hope they participated in what we did then. Did they really realize that if they could knock us out one day, they could take over our city? How sorry I am for you that you are such worthless robbers that you could not do what your boss asked, whom we will soon... Hmm, let's see what's in there. I've got the tools at home to clean it up quick and easy. Mm -hmm. Go in, there's a chest with all the tools you need. After you take them, we can go and clean the area around you. Mm -hmm. I got everything I need for this. Come on, Mikey, let's go clean out this garage so you can see the ghosts. Huh? Uh -huh. Why did you say ghosts? Now I'm scared to clean that garage, in case those ghosts don't like what we do in there. I think they'll like the fact that we're cleaning out their garage, which everyone abandoned a long time ago and didn't leave it in such bad shape. If I was a ghost, I'd hate it if some other person just picked up what I left behind and started cleaning it up or something. You'd just be a stupid, scary, selfish ghost. I have a question. Why am I doing all the work now? You wanted to clean this place up. You know, JJ, I'm not cut out for work. And if I fall asleep to something, it'll make it worse. And then I'm tired. And I'm afraid of ghosts getting back at me for touching their stuff. I think the ghosts would appreciate you doing something. So come help me clean out this garage. No, I told you why I won't do it. Especially since I'm here as moral support and you're almost done cleaning it up. Because you don't want to do anything, Mikey. You're a humming dog. <laughs> now I'm not going to do anything. What's in the garage will be mine. 
This conversation is over! Uh, I don't think that's really fair. So maybe you could at least take the trash away from the garage. Are you done yet? Let's open up the garage and see what's left of the previous owners. All right. JJ, why don't you open up the garage? I'm so curious about what's inside. All right. Oh, what is that? It looks like a motorcycle. Do you think it's still running? Or maybe it'll ride? See if she can get a ride or even drive. I'm so scared. I've never ridden a motorcycle. I don't even have a license. I don't think anything bad is going to happen from just driving around, don't you think, Mikey? I don't know, but I want to ride more. It's so cool. It's just so cool when the air hits you. I don't know. I like cars or convertibles. It's really cool when the air hits you in the face. But you can still do tricks on a motorcycle that you can't do in a car. I don't think it's as big a plus compared to how much more comfortable it is to ride a car than it is to ride a motorcycle. Okay, let me make you change your mind. He's got some jumps in his garage somewhere. Try to put them together and make a huge jump. Huh? You think if you show me a trick, I'll start liking motorcycles? I don't know any other way to do it because Mountain Wickles is just super cool. Okay, I'm gonna find some trap lines that you can do stunts with and show them to me and prove that motorcycles are better than cars. Mm -hmm. Lucky for you, there were parts for a ski jump. Now I'm gonna go and try to put it together as fast as I can so you can show me your tricks. Mm -hmm. I'll show you a trick that'll shock you and you won't say I'm stupid and I don't know how to do anything. Okay, but I'm not so good at building any jump ramps, so it's just gonna be a straight up. Even on a primitive ramp like this, I'll show you what a real stunt jump is. Then get ready, because I'm almost done building it. I really want to see you jump into the sky. Hey! Hey, oh. hey JJ, get out of my way. This ramp is perfect for me. Look at me. Oh. <laughs> is this part of the trick, or did something happen to her? I don't think that's part of the trick. Hey, Mikey, what's up with you? Are you okay? Tell me how you're feeling in there. No, Mikey, answer me something. What happened to you? That's the house she fell into? What's she doing there? Uh, Let's see how she's doing. Hey, Mikey, can you hear me? Say something. What do I do? It must have fallen here. There's no roof. I need to get someone to help me. I don't know what to do. If I should call someone or an ambulance, or at least drag her out of here, I think the landlord will be furious. Hey, you little brat, get away from there. What are you doing there? What have you done to my house? Are you crazy? Get out of here before I break your legs. Ugh. I'm coming back for you, Mikey. I'll come, I'll get you out of there. Just wait for me and don't go anywhere. 12 o'clock midnight. I'm gonna come after you. I don't know what they did to you, but I'm gonna get you out of there, no matter what it takes. I have to approach very quietly so they don't hear me approach them. I'm gonna act like a ninja, huh? What kind of place they put her in? Holding her like she's in jail. We gotta get her out of there now. I gotta make sure there's no one here to see me trying to get it out of there. It looks empty. I think we can break this grate down a little bit. I just make sure there's no one sitting here waiting to catch me. So, uh, it's kind of empty too. There's no one here either. But who's on the other side? I'll have to see. Hmm, <laughs> the bike's over here and there's Mikey. Hey Mikey, can you hear me? She's probably still passed out. Okay. I'll start breaking the bars, see if I can get her back, and then we'll just get out of here. I almost broke everything. I wish Mikey had woken up just in time for someone to come and catch me. Yuck. Hey, what are you doing in there, kid? You want to let her out? You better get out of here before I call somebody to break your arms and legs. I don't want to see you here again. Yuck. I can't sneak in like this again, but they'll probably tighten security, and next time they'll break my arms and legs. What do I do? Hmm? What kind of garage is that? It doesn't look abandoned, and it's kind of unusual. I wonder who owns it. Does it have an owner? We should look around it. It's completely covered in diamonds. Maybe I should see what's inside? Right. If there's no one here and no one owns it, I can borrow what's inside. Wow. It's a diamond bike. It looks incredible. What's in the chest? Healing potions? That's exactly what I need. What a coincidence. Now with this bike, I can go to that place and show them that they shouldn't have messed with us. I'll smash them all up and get Mikey out of that prison they built. Hey, you, remember me? You wanted to break my arms and legs. What are you gonna say now that I'm on a diamond bike? Why don't you leave me alone? I'm not gonna let you go. I'm shocked that a big man like you just lost to a kid like me. You're so weak, I could have done it sooner. 
Although maybe it's the effect of the diamond bike. Although you won't know that because I'll knock you all out. You're just weak. Okay. I think I've knocked everyone out. Now I need to get the bike away from here. Then I'll come back for you, bike. You're a big help. 